met President Najibullah at the presidential palace in Kabul. It's a very peaceful day, but everybody says that we're surrounded by your enemies. <laughs> you were all worried about the security. Now we will go to the mass. Yeah. Yes. Five kilometers, I think two kilometers far from here. Uh -huh. You can see that we are living among the people, not among the enemy. Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> Every Friday, President Najibullah prays, usually at his favorite mosque. We are wondering, what did you pray for in the mosque today? What did you pray for the people? At the presidential palace, we were able to conduct an interview with President Najibullah. The Soviet army has finally left. Is your government going to be able to stand up on its own? Surely. No problem. No problem. Uh -huh. The opposition has rejected all your calls for peace, and they want you to step aside. If it would bring peace, would you and your party yield power? If, for the cause of peace, for restoration of peace, we not only give up our posts, but we are ready to sacrifice our lives as well. I depend on the will of the people, of the people of Afghanistan. Whatever they want, I agree with them. President Bush has announced that he's going to continue to support the opposition. Would you give back all your arms to the Soviet Union if it would bring about peace and the cessation of the arms struggle? Yes, completely ready. An international guarantee should be given for a neutral and demilitarized Afghanistan. We are ready to give all the weapons away. Do you have a message that you'd like to give to the people of the United States? We have had and of all. war and bloodshed. I think now is the time to heal the wounds, to construct our reigned country. The last Soviet soldier has left Afghanistan, India should be no further reason to continue reason for the United States or any other country to continue supplying weapons to the opposition groups. What the people of Afghanistan need is more sympathy in economic assistance not more bombs and guns. Our children, women, and elderly, regardless where they are, live in Afghanistan, need food and medicine. Americans, and you should help the people of Afghanistan to live in a peaceful, democratic, and prosperous society instead of waging a perpetual war against each other. Your tax dollars could be spent for a more human and useful cost. As a great country, the rule of the United States could be very significant in the future developments of our country. Our hopes are bent on a realistic and peacemaking attitude by the administration of the President George Bush. I wish you all dear Americans further happiness and prosperity. Thank you very much, Mr. President. For today, John Alpert in Kabul.